Alright, so welcome back to the channel. Are you? Welcome in if you're new. What is this? Who are you? Did you hear me? I'm Saga Anderson, FBI. Continuing on where we left off. I can hear you. Cauldron Lake. Yes, sir. Mm, chapter. I'm at Cauldron Lake. Three, I believe. Where are you? I to escape. In danger. The dark presence. Danger. Thanks. Got it. I'm not sure. Maybe if you've seen this part already. I don't know. Or did we? Oh no. Nope. Hey. Now we're continuing. Cool. Are you okay? No. no. Oh, Michael. dead man. Wakey, wakey. He got out. Speaking of. My face. Alan. Scratch. Wake up. Sir, calm down. I'm gonna need you to take a breath. He's, he's changed the story. The d dark presence. We must stop it before. Easy now. First things first. What's your name? My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. I, I've been. Wake. Where did you come from? You've been missing for 13 years. Came from my mama's butthole. That's what it looks like. At least came from a butthole. Maybe stuffed in a rhino or something. He's Ventura vibes. <laughs> yep, y'all seen that already. Just revert back to the last video and... Andy, where yeah. did you go? All of a sudden, the radio stopped working, and then that flooding just disappeared. The crazy forest. Is this who I think it is? Casey, say hello to Alan Wake. Mr. Wake, this is Special Agent Alex Casey. He'll escort you to our car. Casey, I'll meet you there right after I take a look around. If the flooding's receded, there might be evidence we missed earlier. Okay. See you there. Alex Casey? How? Am I still... Is this the dark place? No, it can't be. I got out. Yeah, the P.I. from your books has the same name as me. Great. Moving on. It's a bit of a height to the car, Wake. Just get your bearings, then we'll head out. I just, I, I need another Investigate. Cluttered area. Alan, Wake, shut up. I'm trying to talk in my dang stream. Oh, look recording. With the flooding gone, could be further clues out there. The flooding disappeared very suddenly. I wonder if there's any connection to the overlap. To Nightingale. Can't go out here, obviously, because I'm pushing forward. I can't go anywhere. Come on, buddy. Previously flooded area. Okay, left stick is run. Run. <laughs> can't go up there. Take a look around. I'm looking around, I don't see nothing. Yet. Go up there. Alan Wake came flushed in with a paper, didn't he? Where'd you put it, you scraphead? Where did he take the page? I don't know. You need a shower and a new suit, buddy. Okay, B is the flashlight. Put it away. Mm -hmm. Am I missing anything? Thing at all. I don't see anything that's gonna prompt me to pick something up. <sighs> I 
Oh, it's been an interesting day. I'm still running myself ragged on Starfield. Going NG plus 11, but decided to actually stop there. Try a different romance option, look up some build guides on YouTube for different ships, and might do a review and teardown of the Space Truck 3 since there's no teardown or reviews of it. So, may as well be the first one, maybe, if I'm lucky enough. Overlap manuscript pages. The pages of ages. What's in here now? I'm gonna have to fight this big Hank looking puppy bubble again. A locked box. Is that the cult of the tree symbol on it? Okay, so I need to what read this paper now. I have Okay, I do have more cases. Cult of Twee. The Twee Tree. Ah, uh, reality changing influence of the dark forest. Flood, uh, flowed like water flowed, like fear flowed. Down the path of least resistance. There ain't no numbers on here that would represent. Just lightly skimming through. Don't need that. Don't need that. Back to you, Ronnie. Okay. Um, that's the symbol of the tree. Where were you? Hmm. Uh, optional investigate previously. Da, 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 take the car back into Bright Falls. Hmm. Weapon upgrades three. I can't do nothing with you until I find like a bunch more of these kitty little lunch boxes. There you go. So that was there. I'm tempted to do like a 666, but you know, <laughs> that may not work. Notes and ammo. Okay. Just like they're tools of the trade. The cult doesn't see their victims as people. Code flare, what are you? Can't take you, why not? Remember, they look like us, but they aren't like animals, and it's our job to hunt them and gut them. Oh, and, uh, but now, give me what's in there? It's not. Okay. Dum, da dum, dum. Come on, Saga. You stuck? Are you serious right now? What kind of bug was that? Um, map was what? Hey, we're there. Murder site here. What is this? Point of interest. Dun, dun, dun. That it's a big old hike back to the car. But where is... Dang it. Oh, car is all the way out there. You... Mm -hmm. Out across the highway, back into some BS. What's this? Cabaggio. What is that? Overlap? He's from this. Wow. Overflap. That's what I thought. I cast quick access to the map without entering the mine place by holding that futon. Is it up here? Okay, so that's one weapon. How do I switch? Why? I 
hear stuff. Is that a pahina? Yes, it is. Pahina, pahina. Now I'm following the path of where Dipsy Doodle went at the very beginning of the game. This is the Wibble Wobble Heba Hobble Lady, which is Ladle. A moment, uh, into the light. Not bothering you, don't bother me. Don't like the light, obviously. Even the animals are turning into monsters. <sighs> I really want to go this way. Where am I at? Hold the button. Um blows. I need to stick to my right slightly. Through this path should be quick turn by quickly pressing L backward twice. Okay. That's what you call sprinting. It's a light jog. Murder site. <sighs> okay, wait. Right through there, out across the highway to the right, and din -din 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 -din. oh wow, it's definitely a big boy. Oh, we're gonna spend most of this chapter just, uh, you know, walking around or light jogging. So back up through here, what's all of this? Easter eggs. Lovely little Easter eggs. Hmm. I think we're still set on story mode. So I guess these are markers heading away back. See, there's more Easter eggs. I guess this there's is marking, lunchbox. Our, marking our path. Lunch, anybody? Uh, remember, it's just a bad day, not a bad life. But if you're having a good day, ignore this whole thing. Oh, great. Thank you for your advice. Um, okay, so that's another marker there. I go the wrong way. Oh, straight. I'm going to be checking the map a lot until I figure out what the heck is what. What the heck is what. Saying what that many times kind of reminds me of something from um, Cyberpunk. Oh, I hear something. That almost sounded like Dale. Where are you, Dale? I know you got a burr somewhere. Afraid of UFOs. World is watching. Alright, check the map again. Where the heck did I go? I have to go this way, I assume. I am lost. Am I watching TV in there? I'm gonna guess through here. Ah, screw it. Let's figure this out. Through here. Oh, I don't like that bit. Is that the way I gotta go? Probably.
nice talking to you too. Okay, so I have to go through the couple of blippin' looking TV guys. If you're out of a uh, an old CCTV screen. Ow. Ow. barely push the trigger and it's just blammo very sensitive um you know can't go up this way i can't go through here maybe it is through here yeah he's about to have some fun oh yeah charlie horse Through here. Sounds like it's saying owl. Owl. <laughs> Maybe that's a an odd auditory. Auditory. I still got turrets on the brain from uh, turreted weapons in Starfield auditory thing I like the way this game looks uh, skipping on Starfield talk um that's that get up there saga you want to split as you go up there too it's that tight I'm surprised they don't split on you unless they're uh, stretchy Okay, now we're hiking up there. Or should be up and left. Wait, this way and left? Maybe I'm right. Let's see. What was I supposed to talk to um EC first? And I ran all this way without Maybe. Okay, down we go. That sounded like your ankles hurt. Get out. Okay, back to Bright Falls. Mr. Wake, we're taking you back to our field office in Bright Falls. You can freshen up there, and then we'll talk properly. Hey, Mom. Before you say anything, I'm totally fine. Don't freak out. Dad shouldn't have even texted you. Logan? No Sound doesn't match up with the subtitles. What's going on? <laughs> I'm totally fine. I slipped. That's all. God, it's not the end of the world. Put your father on the phone. Um, okay. Dad, it's Mom. Don't worry, hun. Logan slipped in the shower and bumped her head. She has a slight concussion, but I'm keeping an eye on her. Lucky I heard her fall. She could have drowned. Jesus, David. Why didn't you call? I tried. It didn't go through. She's fine, really. But what about you? You sound stressed. No, it's uh, just a weird case, that's all. Well, if you need a hint, my years of board game victories tell me Colonel Mustard did it. <laughs> I'll, I'll keep an eye out for him. <laughs> Love you, Dave. Love you too, honey. Wanna say bye to Logan? Just tell her I love her. Bye for now. Really? 
<laughs> That's what you put him in. Lionel. Checkered. Is there Lionel. anyone you'd like us to reach out to, Mr. Wake? I got a you bunch of those shirts. No. Or them? No. They'd be in danger. It'll come for me. Okay, let's talk about something else. Robert Nightingale. Do you know him? You were both here in 2010. The Dark Presence got him back then. That's the last time I saw him. 13 years. Oh, fuck me. Tell us about the pages. You had what looks like a title page with you. Return. Is this the name of the story on these pages? The writer's name has been scratched out pretty violently, but your name can still be made out underneath. <laughs> scratched out. Yeah. Scratch. Did you write these pages, Mr. Wake? I'm trying to remember. It's... It's... It's a crazy jumble, like a... Like a nightmare. I, it doesn't... It doesn't make sense. I think somebody hit the bridge of your nose with a hammer. Look at that. I remember. Flat. I remember. What do you remember? What the? Are we going to Alan's story? What kind of galaxy did you just fly through? <laughs> Wizard of Oz. The witch's house. Oh, I predicted that. That's pretty cool. Like the 60s or 70s. Oh, and as usual, our help man, the old gods of Asgard, is here. Take it away, you crazy Viking. So I'm a talk show tonight. Waking up in places with no memory of how I'd gotten there. It was out of control. I didn't need another mugshot in the fucking tabloids. <laughs> oh boy. Had I already done the show? Was that a recording? Get me out. I'm stuck in your pocket. Okay, I guess I have to talk to the TV. A lot of remnants from the first one. The same. Oh, bravo and well done. Thirty years later for an Alan Wake too. Wow. Oh man. Did that say in between the door? This must be an exciting time for you. Tell me, does it ever get old? Sorry, does what get old? Publishing a new book. Are you okay there, my friend? You look like you've been cooped up in the writer's room for a few too many years. This is exactly how I feel. <laughs> you know, I've waited so long to get my hands on the sequel to Departure. You left us on quite the cliffhanger. We've all been dying to know what it's not a lake, it's an ocean really means. You and me both. Well, our wait is over. Your new book, Initiation, hits the shelves tomorrow. What? That's exactly what every reader will be asking. This book is mind-bending. It's so cerebral. I mean, how would you describe it? A an auto-fictional thought experiment? A, a, a horror <laughs> story? A postmodern detective story? Wait. This isn't right. I, I haven't written anything. 
He's so humble. Okay, <clears throat> you got me. Good prank, very funny. But yeah, uh, sad to say, I, I, I've not written this. I, I'd remember if I'd written a book, right? Or maybe it was written by your evil double. <laughs> well played, man. That is spot on. Playing the role here. Pretending the world of the book overlaps our own. That's very meta indeed. You see, Initiation tells the story of a fictional writer named Alan Wake who is trapped in a nightmare, desperately trying to find the manuscript of a novel he has forgotten he has written. The book is set in New York, but it might not be New York at all. He is tormented by his dark doppelganger, guided by visions of a fictional detective he has written. That's right, Alex Casey is in this book as well. Uh, I guess we'll just keep doing this the whole show. The joke's on me. But isn't that what you sign up for with autofiction? No, but seriously, I found the, the structure of the reality you build in the book fascinating. It reminded me of The Matrix. I mean, the writer is physically in his writer's room, trapped there, and he projects himself out to this dark dream of New York through the story he is writing. Uh, like astral projection. Did I get that right? Yeah. That's exactly right. Go on. I should be taking notes here. This is great stuff. Notes to that other Alan Wake in that room writing this as we speak? Are we all in your story, Alan? <laughs> wow. <laughs> no, how many drugs were you on, dude? Your new book, Alan. I hope it's as successful as your best-selling Alex Casey series. Initiation hits the shelves tomorrow. After this, I'm sure we'll all be eagerly awaiting the culmination of this hero's journey trilogy of yours. A book called Return, perhaps. <laughs> hmm. Man, thank you for one of the strangest interviews of my entire career, Alan. All this talk of meta narratives. I'm expecting to disappear once this scene ends. <laughs> Uh, what? Whoever wrote this and made Hello? it must be on some really good stuff. I'm losing it. Something's not right here. I needed to get home to Alice. Okay, so I'm assuming there's a way to turn on all the lights. From See, there's cables here, cables here. What the hell was that in here? Some kind of joke? Initiation? I never wrote a book called Initiation. This felt like a bad dream. Could make a good horror story. I suppose where? All right. If I don't stop yink yanking around, I'm gonna get myself lost. I don't think I gotta go this way. Push the buttons. Can I push the buttons? Nope. It's back. Give it a Push bar to open. Hmm. I was a mess. I had never heard of this talk show or Mr. Door before. None of it felt right. Was I losing my mind? Dr. Casper Darling. Such interesting names. And I go this way then. Okay, I need a code for that. Hey! I think I've been locked in! Anybody! Fuck. Now I have to find the code myself. Great. Hmm. <clears throat> maybe. Old Gods of Asgard. So maybe it's on. Old Gods of Asgard. That name sounded familiar. 665. Guarantee you. Watch. Dun, 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 dun. Dum, 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 dum. Wow. This is trippy. There's something here. 
I'm not even a broken transmission. I couldn't quite make out. I don't do no drugs or anything. What this is a message. Wrong with my head. Impossible to say. Don't drink. Don't smoke. Stuff. Don't take pills. Don't nothing. So this is wiki. Ray. What the? F there was something in the studio with me. I had to get out. Ah, okay. That's it. Hmm? Come on, break your shoulder with it. <laughs> This is the ritual. Ah, back at the lake. Waking of up from the nightmare, I felt like a drowning man gasping key. for air. This place felt familiar. A ghost of a memory surfaced, about riding here for countless days. Initiation draft one. for mapping out a story on the index cards the nightmare that just happened to me a summary of the story so far but other notes as well warnings I had written them I couldn't remember what it all meant the name scratch filled me with dread I could trust these words I had to act on them you must write to escape Okay. What a tweaker are you, man? Do it up, Arthur. Tell me more about Bill and Hank and Dale. Where'd the Nicky Tully Tubby go? I didn't remember much. But I knew my thoughts and ideas could manifest as reality in this dark place. I'd use my writing to project myself out of this room. Like a deep sea diver to go deeper and explore the depths of this prison for a way out. This room was my boat. Writing was my lifeline. I would start again at the talk shop. The f Layers of insanity. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, you're too kind. Welcome back. Uh, we have a great show for you here tonight. We have a treat for all you Alex Casey. Groundhog's Day, anybody? Alex Casey himself is here tonight. That's right. Fair right, ladies and gentlemen. The actor who has given his face to the famous detective in the film series. And of course, we have Alan Wake here, the best selling writer of the books the films are based on. Let's do this! Oh, okay, so that's a bit weird. Any way to go out this? Maybe it's through the mirror? Oh no, no pictures. Hmm, mirror? All the muffins and garbage food, man. Oh, back to the TV again. Back to the middle and around again. Welcome back to the show. So, Alan, as the uh, creator of the character, how do you feel about this? Sorry, what? <laughs> I know it can be an awkward question <laughs> to the man sitting right next to me. How ass. do you feel about him in the role of Casey? Does he look the part to you? He looks exactly like I always imagined Casey to be. It's uncanny. Thank you. That means so much to me. I'm a huge fan of your books. So, uh, what's the problem, Alan? Because on more than one occasion, you've voiced your reservations about the adaptations. Uh, 
It's not that. They're their own thing. They've gone with choices that are different from mine. I, I, I feel protective about my stories and these adaptations. I, I don't know. I, I guess I just wish I could have been more involved in making them. Well, in that case, you won't have seen this either. We have a clip from the new film, Murder Case Case. Should we roll it, or do you want to say something first, Sam? Nah, just roll it. Oof. This city was an old scar that refused to heal. The rain made it fester. It needed the sun, but there was only the night. I was tired. Insomnia covered me like a plastic film. I was watching the world through a rain-slick window, my own reflection haunting the view. I was trying to track down a missing writer. My only clue was a table lamp, shaped like an angel. The only thing that shed light on this sordid mystery. I like it. Like a joker or something. That's great. Murder case, Casey. Great job, Sam. Very exciting and very meta. I'm looking forward to seeing more. Wait, he's up. What was that about a writer? <laughs> about a lamp? I swear, this is Groundhog Day on a really twisted mind on some sort of substance. Alright, finding a code to get out again. Not that way, Sam. Oh, that's different. What? Almost like a double pane glass. Oh, same thing over again. The heck is going on here? I have to look in the mirror, see myself, and something comes through the doorway. What's the order that they're blinking in? Hold on. That's going to be the ticket. Five, six, five. That. Oh, there you go. Play enough video games, you gotta figure this stuff out. <laughs> Not too difficult. Kind of makes it enough to where if I was completely brain dead, I'd be able to figure it out. Let me out, I'm stuck in your pocket. It's it one way, huh? Hmm? Again? Or is it this way? Need a kick button. Just kick the door down, kick it right in. Oh. Mr. Wake. Oh, this time it's just. Hello? Sound like somebody's farting in a leather chair. Ah, There you are, Tom. Oh, not so much evil that not a bit of good as well. Not one without the other. <laughs> one of these see. things is not like the other. Hey, I, I can't seem to find my way out of here. Can you point me to the exit? <laughs> of course, Tom. The work will instruct its maker. I was gonna get something from the basement for you, but you can get it yourself now. Uh, the more cooks, the worse the soup. <laughs> 
Oh. Okay. I could take a dump. Anything else in here that might be of a uh, use? Oh, doi, 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 doi. Walk show is studio. All right, exits there. Right out through here to the right, 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 right. Wait, can't go this way. This may go down out through. There's a couple different ways to go here. First floor basement. Yep, bingo. So you can go through here, lead you down. Hmm. What the? They're gonna put me back here. Some of my bitch. Alice's photographs. Are you still on about that? Zooming out this way would bring me somewhere else. In between with Mr. Door. <coughs> oh. This back. Basement. Huh? Find a way out of the talk show. Basement says that way. Is there a key that I need to get? That's Alan Wake. That's my... I swear, if this is all we're doing is wasting time running around this crap. Mr. Door. I think we were in here already. Something about a point of interest. Okay, we're going around in circles here. Yes, we are. Okay, so to find the way out. Not through here. I needed to find the basement the janitor mentioned. I'm trying to find out, but you know, going in freaking circles. What did that say? Stage that way. Janitor. Toilets, that says stage. Janitor's closet. Oh, so this is basement. Um. I already took the map. Well, if I go this way, if I, whoa, what's that? Door. Flick power switches? No. Okay, so they made this pretty, uh... Stupid-like. Okay, so write something else right away out. There's plot board. I don't have any, um... I'm right here at the basement. So do I... Stuff. Maybe there's a key in there somewhere. What do you want me to get from the basement? And my name's Alan, not Tom. 
Ja joo, mutta katoppa kun a man, a man, but a man with a two makes two, Tom. Eikö niin? <laughs> And a man with a two can build his own exit. It's in a shoebox, in the basement where you left it. <laughs> Safe as in the Lord's purse. Here's the key. Of course, overlook that. I've been trying to find a way to escape the dark place. Any suggestions? He who mouths about his troubles is the prisoner of his troubles. It's not easy to get out. But don't you worry, Tom. The home is still there where the heart is. I often think about it when I mop the floor and look into the puddle. Water is the memory of the world. Water mm. finds its way. Really? Really? Have we met before? Are you trapped in the dark place too? You remember Ahti, the janitor. You can't be lost if you don't worry about where you are headed. So don't worry, Tom. The sun will shine even into a heap of twigs. What? Just remember to turn on the lights. It won't take long when you get to work. The janitor was a bit out there, but still a friendly face. I had to trust the basement would get me out of here. Ground control to Major Tom. Uh, maybe that's why he's calling him Tom. Basement, ground. Maybe that's how that works. Don't forget to turn on the lights. Where the lights? Where the switch? Why do I still hear you? Road of flow. Can I grab? Nope. That's a light area. What was it? No charges. Where do you find charges in this heap of thickness? Oh, hell no. Give me the tapes. Okay, now I can run. An old lamp and a shoebox. Was this what the janitor had left for me? Turn the lights on. The lamp felt significant. A tool for bringing light to the darkness. A little boy afraid of the dark. Always use your flashlight, Junior. I felt a magnetic pull between the lamp and the light overhead. Whoa! When the light jumped into my lamp, the whole room changed. Like something in a dream. Opening a way forward, the lamp was humming. The bulb glowed. It held the light now. Okay, so this is the one I just took. This will turn that on. This is the way I came from, right? That's the way I came from. The whole thing just changed. Okay, so that swaps that. If I go this way and take that out. Now I'm stuck in here. Okay. This is odd. So now... I felt another surge from the lamp. I could use it again. Did I use all my charges? Oh, sugar. What the? Okay, this is rather off. Okay. 
Okay, there's got to be a different way to do this. Something's flickering. I grab that from... Oh, okay. Not the puzzle, Junior. Okay, so... I, oh, this way. That's rather peculiar. The glow in the lamp went out, shifting the light in the room. The light carved out something new from the darkness. Okay, so now I'm on the other side. Look at what's first. Okay, let's go find another flicker flicker. Um, okay, so now what? That change everything in here. Okay, gives me another set of yeah, what's over. I needed to find another way out. Need to not find another flicker point. Those are sharp little windows. What are you? So, I need to find another another point that I can use for This is trippy. I've said that, what, three times now? I have 53 minutes. Uh, try this again this way. I'm scared of the dark. wants to drown me. I'm losing myself. I have to fight it. I have to remember the clicker, the light switch. I lost it, but I have the lamp now. The lamp the switch was cut from. This place is a nightmare. Not real and yet more real than anything. The danger and the horror are real. It feeds off my mind, twisting whatever it takes into psychotic reality. I'm trapped here. I write to escape. I've tried this many times, written countless stories, forgotten how many. I keep failing, but I must keep trying. I use the story to dive deeper. Every word I write is a step forward on this spiral of the darkness. I dive to the bottom to find the answer, the, the map, the key, the compass. It's combined to form a door leading out. But how do you open a door that's not a door? At the bottom of an ocean, that's not an ocean, and a lake. That's not like. What the? <laughs> well, that was mind boggling. So I think to straighten myself out, I'm going to go tear down and build another ship in our field. Or record my tear down of the space truck three. Maybe. Who knows? Thinking out loud, so don't mind me. But anyway, this going on. We have concluded part three. Chapter three, whichever you want to call it. And keep a lookout. Chapter four. Coming up soon. 
I appreciate y'all watching. Appreciate y'all uh, checking this out. I'll catch y'all on the next one. All right. Later.